Hello and welcome back to Space Engine Days. In today's video, we're looking at another small land vehicle that utilizes wheels in a unconventional way. And this thing sitting right behind me is called the E27 Bandit, which is a very small vehicle, a spider-like vehicle, that's a small scripted gun on the front, a gunning gun at the back, it's fully powered by a battery, and utilizes a hinge to connect up to a base to recharge itself. So this thing will scoot around and the legs will sort of wobble around. At first I thought this was going to be a mech or actually step forwards, but no, this just glides along the ground and the legs will adapt themselves depending on what you're doing. But you'll see that a bit later on. Pressing F10 and finding the city spawn menu, the bandit is 199 small blocks using the Wasteland Sparks of the Future and Decorative Block Number 2 DLC packs. We can see a nice bit of information about it, just the story behind it. Then all the way down to here we've got its features and then its specifications. This is also a mod IO creation, so it is available for both Xbox and PlayStation if you are interested. And of course, as per usual, there'll be a link to it in the description below. But for the moment, we're going to give this thing a thumbs up, move around towards the very front, have a quick look around the outside, see what it has in terms of controls, then we'll drive it around and I'll show you how the legs work. So my character can now bugger off just a little bit. There we go. And this is what we get at the front of the bandit. So what we can see are two rocket launchers with a camera right in the middle. This is our custom scripted gun, where it's almost like a static gun, except it can move up and down slightly, and it will adjust itself automatically to help aim at your enemies. If we look at it from the side, we'll see a hinge. This is what's going to allow it to move up and down, so hopefully it can stay pinned on the target while moving around on the bumpy terrain. Coming back around to the front, we've got a bunch of atmospheric thrusters to help slow this thing down, a fighter cockpit to drive this thing around, two spotlights, and a gallon gun on the top that sits right at the back of the vehicle. If we were to move over to one of these legs, this is how it's been set up. Over here, we've got two hinges onto each other, we then got some wheel blocks for some decoration, that comes onto them steel blocks, onto another hinge, onto another wheel block, we've got wheel suspension, onto another wheel suspension, and then there is both our wheels. So something very dodgy is happening over here, where we've got a wheel jammed inside the suspension, but that's how it works, and how it's been set up. Yes, onto the actual side, don't know why I keep putting my light on. We see some more atmospheric thrusters to push this thing around. There's the side of our light. Over to this section, a transparent LCD screen with a logo. Then we've got a bar with the block with gyroscope right behind it. There's our battery to power this thing. Then right below this section, a couple more wheels, just in case you do take a hard landing. And well, to help take the battery and the bank. So that thing is powering this whole thing. So if you lose the battery, you'll lose all the power. Pulling away from there and looking at it on the side, We've got a cargo container, one on both sides, and this is going to be for the ammunition for the turrets. Then coming around towards the very back here, even more atmospheric thrusters. There's the hinge to connect up to a base, dock it up, and of course recharge your battery. Coming all the way up and looking down at it, time I put my light on again. And there is our turret. Some more barred window blocks next to our lights. There's our cockpit, there's our atmospheric thrusters, and there are the legs. Moving towards the front, there's the top of our guns. Coming down and underneath it, past that camera, this is all we can see. So we do have an air vent to suck an auction and pump it into the cockpit. There's the bottom of our batteries, there's our wheels, and that's how the legs have been set up. And there we go. That's that for the outside of the E27 Bandit, and does look great with how it's all been set up. It's very spider-like with its design, but almost only got four legs. And now I can just grab hold of my character, come into it, and we'll go through the controls. So up to here, inside, bring up the HUD, these are the only controls we get, where number one and number two is going to be for our gun at the front, where there's the camera, and there's our rockets. Now we can't move this all the way up and all the way down, this is simply moving the vehicle up and down, like so, so we are going to be relying on those wheels at the back to protect that battery. But yes, to actually get this to move up and down, we do need to have an enemy present, then the script takes over, and we'll adjust it depending on the angle of the vehicle. Number two is for our Gatling gun at the back there to manually control it and shoot it around, there we go. Coming out of that and pressing number 4, this is our gyroscope override, or just simply stop it from moving around so we can move it forwards and backwards, but we can no longer move it with the mouse. Turn that off for the moment. Number 5 is for our parachute hatch, just in case if we do get into a pickle while coming down a mountainside. Number 6 is for our battery to auto or recharge. Number 7 is for our atmospheric thrusters to turn them on and off all the way around this vehicle. And then number 8 and 9 is for our wheels, which is to increase or decrease the power. There we go with all the controls. Now what I'm going to do is come into third person view, don't know where the camera just went there, and ooh, it seems to be having a bit of a problem with the back of that vehicle, so I'll just keep it like so. Now what I'm going to do is just move it forwards, and as you can see the wheels will move backwards, or the legs will move backwards, moving back, the wheels will move forwards, and we have to come to a stop, 
moving left, you can see how the wheels are dynamically moving around depending on what we're doing. It was to move this up, there we go, and then if we would move it down, there we are. So it's just a nifty thing to have that adds a bit more decorative touch to this vehicle as it goes over any lumps and bumps. So what I'm going to do now is drive this thing around and we'll see how it handles when going at high speeds. Now this vehicle, like all kind of unconventional wheel vehicles, are generally designed to go around 40 meters per second. That is the safest way to go around because it severely limits any kind of unnecessary damage that can happen when Lord Clan gets angry. And here we go, we're now going at 100 meters per second and it is doing very well on its flat surface. There was a few bumps here and there and as you can see it is sort of adjusting itself. It's very handy we've got multiple wheels on here. This is going to be terrible and we lost both the wheels on one side. There is a tree that is going to screw me over. Can I adjust this? No I cannot. And that is the end of that. But yes, that is why you go at 40 minutes per second. That's why you should really limit your wheels. But for this, I think it did very well until I took a jump. And here we go again. I just spawned in a brand new one, driving around here, actually being sensible for once, giving it below 40 minutes per second. Make sure no random explosions happen. Make sure you don't get too much airtime. And as you can see, go around these little lumpy surfaces. The wheels are doing very well at adjusting itself. And does it look very nice. How they're just wibbling around, wobbling around. And it makes the vehicle look alive. So yes, that is pretty much it for what the Bandit has to offer. There will be a link to it in the description below if you do wish to download and play around it yourself. I highly recommend you do. And before I disappear, we will get up to 100 meters per second and jump it one more time. We see the wheels there doing a fantastic job. Very fantastic job. I should use this as an example. And it looks like we are slowly taking damage. I think I saw a wheel ping off there. Could have just been a visual bug. And I'm going to come across past these trees. And we're going to go into the distance, and I think I'll just do a front flip and end it there. But yes, like I said, there'll be a link to it in the description below if you wish to download and play around it yourself. Highly recommend you do. And I'll be back with another video some point soon. Bye bye. <laughs>